damn killer. What's up, damn brother? Killer. What's up, boy? It's the motivation, man. Yeah, I, I um, I let it go five joints, sister. You know what I mean? You know how we do Look, tap dance on them real quick. I, I, you know, I was going post you and shit. I went to your page. I ain't seen no videos though. No. You ain't got nothing to rolling rolling fucking your videos up, huh? Fuck my video play up. <laughs> uh, I'm going to post hey, you all morning then, man. Nah, you already know, bro. I ain't tripping. Need some love, man. I'm, I had to, um, I, I feel like right now was the best time to, to release some music. Because for me, it wasn't even about no numbers. You know what I'm saying? It was just yeah. about let some content go. Well, first let of all, man, you're working, shit. man. That's the key, man. Yeah. That's what a lot of motherfuckers from our city don't understand. You got to put the hustle in, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that's why when motherfuckers say they can't do something, I don't. I'll be like, man, get the fuck away from me, man. Yeah, God, he's got every opportunity in the world, man. We ain't handle social media, nigga. I had to run up on rappers to get on. I yeah. had to run up on Mike Lighty to get a motherfucking meeting yeah. at Def Jam. I had to run up on niggas and rap in front of niggas. Y'all niggas got the power in your hand. Just I got send a video. The power. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. We had to get we had to get motherfucking CDs pressed up and vinyl and all that kind of shit. Right. And really go down there and see the DJ. We couldn't even email and shit. Absolutely. We had to drop that motherfucker off. I ain't remember when we used to work out Larry Goals, you gotta pay motherfucker two fifty for them reels. And now a motherfucker could, could, could build a fucking four hundred dollar studio in his crib and that shit still go to the Reddit on the and get it. Hey yo, this shit is crazy, man. It's crazy, it's but good, though. But niggas don't work, man. That's the no. key, man. Niggas do not work. You remember me? I put out six appetizer mixtapes in one year. Yeah, I remember that shit. Back to back. Because I wanted it. Yeah. I wanted it. So, yeah. so for all the young niggas out here that, that if you if your hustle don't match up, nigga, just go get a job at Macy's, man. And point a nigga to the polo tees when I come in there, man. <laughs> Slim fit, medium joints, man. Hey, you know what's crazy? What people ain't understand about us, about a lot of the joints that we all did together. Yeah, I understand at that time we was we was really together. Like we was every day in the same studio, no matter if it was Gil session, Black and Earl session, Meek session, Meek session. No matter who it was, like after niggas doing whatever they doing, niggas like, man, let's get one, man. Because you know niggas, saying? because because as a whole, niggas wanted to see niggas win. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like prime example, Meek was on the way up. I had the hottest record in the city. Get down on the ground. Yeah. I put him on a remix. Come on, get yeah. on the remix, nigga. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas wanted to see niggas win. Yeah, niggas wanted to see niggas win. Like, damn, you up and coming, you doing your thing. Fuck, I'm going to throw you on there. I'm going to throw Joey Jahad on there. I'm going to yeah. throw this nigga on there. I'm going to yeah. throw this nigga on there. Same shit I did with the Creepin' Low record. record. And niggas was cool with competition, man. Yeah, that's all it was friendly video. competition. Whoever come out with the best shit, that's what they do. Whoever got the best yeah. verse, that's what it is, man. Yeah, if your verse wasn't, if you if your verse ain't make the cut, you just ain't make the cut. Right, niggas wasn't afraid of competition, man. Now you got now you got young niggas, man. You try to give them some game, and for me, it'd be like my nigga. I've been relevant as long as you niggas been alive. Yeah, you already. If I can't if I can't tell you nothing, that nigga shit. You definitely hustling backwards. You definitely selling pussy in a gay bar. <laughs> if I can't tell you hey, nothing. Hey man, these niggas different, bro. You know what I do? I just stay away from them. You know what I'm saying? No, I try to I try to embrace them and I try to help. Like it's, it's like it's I so many that. youngins that I sit down with and I give them the game. Yeah. And I, I say, listen, bro, this is what you gotta do. This, this is what you gotta do. This is what you gotta do. And it's like mm -hmm. that shit, yeah, yeah, I feel you. She going one hand and out the other, then you look up four years later, niggas still be in the same space, man. Not moving. It's like I don't stay in the same space, man. You can't. That ain't even a part of who I am. Never staying in the same space because I'm mm -hmm. always going to put that fucking work in, man. Like, to all you rappers out here, up and coming niggas, if you don't treat this shit like a nigga with a nine to five, then yeah. just go get a nine to five, man. That's it. If you want to be a weekend rapper, get a fucking nine to five, man. You ain't going to make it, nigga. There's a, there's a billion rappers to fuck in the world, man. If yeah. you ain't going to outwork these niggas because... I'll work in these niggas supersede talent every day. Yeah. Every day because your blessings come from God. And once he see you working, once he see, yeah. oh, okay, you want it. You deserve it. There you go. Bam. Oh, yeah. bam. Wallow, yeah. Wallow came home. I gave him some game. Okay, cuz. Mm -hmm. Work. Niggas was looking at him like he was crazy. Mm -hmm. They wanted to run. They land on the ground with ketchup on his head. 
that niggas in my family was calling me, yo, that nigga, that nigga lost his mind in prison. Yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, because mm -hmm. keep doing you, man. Fuck what they talking about. Yeah. That the same family members is talking about. Yeah. Can I borrow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, once you in that zone, listen, when I came home, bro, I'm going to keep it real. When I came home, niggas was telling me, man, fuck that rap shit, man. That shit over with. Da -da 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 -da. For you, it's over with. Because you ain't have no connections. Because you couldn't make a fucking record. Because you don't know how to come outside and look right. Right. That's because, that's because niggas be confined to a 10 block radius. Yeah, niggas don't go nowhere. Niggas don't go nowhere. They don't understand that your, that your network equals your net worth. Yeah, there you go. They don't understand that. They don't understand that you got to get out and meet niggas that can change your life. The chances of you meeting a nigga that can change your life in a fucking 10 block radius. Yeah, yeah. Shit, Bro, that, that's slim to none. Just think about it. All the niggas that be, that be working had a motherfucker. Real talk. A major motherfucker. All of us that had motherfucking CEOs with millions of dollars. Right. You had baby. You had motherfucker uh, 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 Tony Draper. Tony Draper. Chris Swartz. Chris Swartz. Tom Bahali. Look, this shit don't stop. One thing about me, I get to the bag. I had 50. I got 50. Me had old boy. In at me. one time, at one time, I was signing with 50. Yeah. That's I true. went to his house. I want to announce. I signed 1.5 fucking million. That's a fact. That's, that's a fact. You know the story. I know the story. What's seven, Gilly? I know the story. Seven fifth. I know the How story. we can make this happen, Gilly? 1.5 <laughs> M and M. <laughs> I remember that shit. Fifth said, "I love you, Gilly. <laughs> Get the fuck out, my mouth." <laughs> He told me, uh, he told me the story. He said, he said they called. He said I think Jimmy called him. I think Jimmy Jimmy Iveen called him. Like you, you, you certifying this for that? He said, what? Well, <laughs> uh, I understand. What? I knew my I knew my worth, man. I knew yeah. I put a lot of work in. So it was like if I don't get it here, I get it somewhere. I'm gonna get some money somewhere. Bro, but that's I'm the whole thing with me. I'm putting that fucking work in. You figure I got out April 23rd of last year. I've been outside the entire time. Right. And you putting the project out. The entire time. I it's, a, it. listen, it's some niggas that's been out here their entire life and ain't put a fucking project out yet. Ain't putting nothing. And I'm putting another one out three weeks after this. It's the niggas, it's niggas out here that I say, okay, I done sat rappers down. I ain't gonna say no names, put niggas mm -hmm. out there. But I said, my nigga, you got a hundred and something thousand followers. Right. Cause of cause of rap. Right. Because your personality is a fucking dead heartbeat. Boo! You don't get nobody. You don't give a nigga no other reason to like you, man. Yeah. Other than your rap. But yeah. you accomplished a hundred and something thousand motherfuckers yeah. like you because of your rapping. But when I go on your page, you ain't even rapping. You ain't even rapping. Nigga, what, why is these people to stick around, man? If you got a hundred and some thousand people that's into you because of rap, why is you mm -hmm. not giving them what the fuck they want? They, because I got a million, I got a million motherfuckers that's into me because I give out game and every fucking day I'm giving them bitches mm -hmm. game. Yeah. So why is you not rapping, nigga? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something about these Philly niggas. They too cool. Mm -hmm. They too thorough. And they think everything dick riding. They too fly. Yeah. They too tough. Yeah. They to this, yeah. they to that. That's why they too fucking broke. Broke. Yeah. Because these niggas got too many fucking twos going on. Too many twos. Tell them good. A, a nigga see a nigga that could change his life and then say, no, man, I ain't going over there. I ain't dick eating. Dick eating. Dick eating, man, nigga. Yeah. Dick eating. Nigga, hold on. Let me just tell you niggas this. That's only a Philly slang, nigga. Yeah. So nobody good. else in the fucking world say no shit that. like that. That's a nigga that can change my life. Let me go introduce him. Yeah. Let me go introduce my... No, that's Dickie. That's Dickie. That ain't No, Dickie. first of all, let me just tell you something. If I bumped in the ice cube, mm -hmm. I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Yeah. You nigga, I'm a, nigga, you a fucking legend, nigga. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. <laughs> yeah, nigga, crazy. nigga, got it. Come in, nigga. Bring it Cause, in. Because you know what that nigga could do. It's not even that. It's just that, you know that I grew up do. off of you, bro. Oh, yeah, I was without a, a doubt. Kid, That's my without nigga. a doubt. 
I was a kid. I was 12, 13 years old listening to that shit, man. I fucking yeah. love you, nigga. Yeah, Ain't not one about. time is it going to pop in my head. Dig a ice cube. Yeah. I don't want to be no dick eater. What? Nigga. Yeah. You! You a fucking legend, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, I seen Nas in the airport. I had Gina with me. Nigga, my wife was with me. I lost my mind. Who gonna beat that's Nas? Nas! <laughs> that nigga yeah. like, Gilly, now fuck with you. Fuck that, nigga. Bring it in. You a fucking yeah. legend. You a legend, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga look like me. You be crazy. Nigga, you a fucking legend, nigga. Nigga, you <laughs> fucking fuck raised me, nigga. nigga. You fucking raised me. A dick eater. That don't even pop in my fucking mind. Yeah, at all. If Nas would have looked at me like I was dick eating. Yeah. Oh, throw your shit up, Nas, in the airport. You, you got me fucked yeah. up. Nigga, that's I'm a fan. Dick I ain't no dick eater. Hold on. Throw your shit up, Nas. Yeah, that's not dick eating, though. What the fuck wrong with you, dog? Niggas like, is nigga, crazy, you bro. Nigga, you treat me like, a, like I'm some clown ass nigga, nigga, because I'm showing your love. No, niggas, niggas crazy, don't even bro. think like that. But well, you know nah. why? Because since I was 20 years old, bitches been asking me to sign their titties. Oh my God, I signed my titty. I'm never going to watch this thing ever again in my life. <laughs> when motherfuckers walk up on me, that, that's, what you, that's what we do it for. Mm -hmm. We do it for the love. Yeah. Never, never not one time did a nigga ever walk up on me. I said, look at this dick eating nigga. That don't even pop in your fucking mind. Yeah, why would you even think like that? But in Philly, I don't, I don't want to be a dick eater. No, that, you already a dick eater. Yeah. Because I could never be a dick eater. Because I don't eat dicks, nigga. So what, how the fuck could I be a dick eater? Mm -hmm. Niggas' mentality is fucked up. They should all fucked up. That's why I stay away from these niggas. I don't sit in Philly. is fucked up, man. It's like, I can't sit in the city. change the way you think yeah. if you want to get to this bag, man. That's what it's all about. You gotta, you Even gotta when you feel like don't nobody man. understand it. Even when you feel like people don't understand it, you got to get to the bag. You got to make it happen. You got to get in the zone to where you get it to where you, you know you get, it, you get it going. You know what I mean? And then things that come around. Period. But I don't niggas sit all, around Niggas also got to understand how to, what, what hustle is. These niggas ain't hustlers. N niggas don't understand what putting in work. Uh, I put a, I put a freestyle a week up on my page. I'm doing something. No, you ain't, bitch. Mm. You lost in the mix. Yeah, that ain't nothing. You playing with that yourself. Nigga you on your page. Yourself. You doing your page freestyle in once a fucking week. Man, you think you're doing something. And then you niggas do don't another. know how to hustle, man. Niggas don't know how to be consistent. Niggas don't know how to say no when I, when you want some shit. <laughs> nigga, you go after it. Nigga, I was doing million dollars worth of game since 2012. Yeah. On Put that working. But, bro, that's the same thing. Listen, that's the same thing as, like, when we all started. Major figures was major, and I tell people this all the time. Major figures was major figures. State property was state property, right? Mm hmm Now, you got, what, eight, nine members in both groups, right? Mm hmm Everybody spitting fucking flames, mm -hmm. right? Now you got all the other rappers, Mike Knox. So when a nigga say, when I hear, when I say a nigga say, that nigga corny, how? I'm doing records with all the niggas. And I ain't getting nobody a dime. And, and you know back then, I was way different. Yeah, you were, you, you was, you was, I you was on the nigga. I ain't doing nothing with this corny ass nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. You was on that. I see you do it to fuck out of here. And I ain't doing that with this corny ass nigga, man. So if yeah. I got a record with you back then, come on, man. Ain't no fucking way you was corny. Hey, hey, I, remember I, was, that, hey. I was one of them niggas. They come in the studio, niggas be, no, he gonna jump on the record. Wait, let me hear that nigga. Hey, yo, remember that hey, nigga? Son, hey. Come hey, on, yo, man. remember fuck that nigga? Proof, man. Hey, yo, remember that nigga put our names on that show out, motherfucking Delaware? <laughs> hey, Mike, me and you got history. I remember we did some crazy shit. <laughs> I don't even want to bring it up, man, because you I got a whole new that, image now. I don't want to bring that up either. Listen, listen, whoever got the tape, they better destroy it. Yeah, that we had that shit on tape. And that. Uh, what was we on? No, but honestly, honestly, the nigga who did that bought that. Yeah, he bought that. He bought that situation, though. Because, because, because he did that shit with Beanie. Yeah. He he said, how you voice. feel about Gilly being the king, calling himself the king of Philly? Beans is like, I don't feel no type of way. If that's what he called himself, that's what. He so I him. seen the shit. I called him up. I said, hey, nigga, what the fuck is you trying to start? Mm -hmm. I said, because see, if 
Beans was to disrespect me. Now me and Beans going through some shit, and you sitting home, you a nigga, funky ass nigga with a seven hundred dollar camera with your fucking feet <laughs> up laying in the bed with your bitch, nigga, and you yeah. starting wars out here, man. Yeah. Don't fucking do that shit. That's what he did too. That nigga said, "You know what? Yeah, Gil, I get it. You right." Then when a nigga play a Philly nigga for a New York nigga, oh shit, got different fans. I ain't feel that shit. I don't think he put no more DVDs out after that. No, because we 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 whipped the fuck out that nigga. Yeah, we, we changed his whole perception on shit after that. Fuck that out was, of here. That was in my wild days, man. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it was for a good cause. Hey, it was a good. When that cause. nigga did that shit out of Delaware with that motherfucking show and put our names on that motherfucker, and he paid you your money, and you told him, you said, "Listen, man, you gave me my money." Do you see that motherfucker over there? That nigga got about 20 niggas with him. And I'm telling you now, they all got pistols. You better get Mike Knox's fucking money or you ain't getting out of here. I told them niggas, he come to me to myself. He come to me to myself. Uh, let me check the door. I told my man, man, get around that nigga. That nigga can't go nowhere, man. Hey, hey. I, I told that nigga like this. Hey, man, you put my fucking name on the fly, man. Where that bag at, man? That nigga looked at my face. That nigga said... <laughs> This nigga's ready to do something. Hey, you got my fucking uh, so money. I got my bag and looked over at you and said, <laughs> You better get that nigga his bag next, because uh, you see them niggas? <laughs> they they going to they gonna do something. <laughs> he got that motherfucking hey, money. That nigga looked over there. Y'all niggas were standing like this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check the door. Hey, matter of fact, Kev said, Kev, remember, because Kev was DJ, Kev said, oh, uh-uh, I'm out of here. I'm going. Hey, hey, after I told him and warned him, I got the fuck out of you. See them niggas right there? <laughs> they gonna open your fucking watermelon up and see if gonna drop out your shit. <laughs> that nigga came over there with some crispy ones, too. What? I said, oh, okay. I, okay. I said, okay. all right, I got the message to you. you want to all right, I'm, I'm out. Back to Philly, nigga. Yeah, so that nigga gave you knew he gave my money because I was right behind you. Creep alone. Creep alone. He, but he ain't, he ain't play around, but that's nah. the type of that, but listen, to all the youngins in the game, man. Yeah. I, I can't stress this enough, man. You gotta outwork these niggas, man. You better. You gotta outwork these niggas, man. If I'm you're not like willing this, to put not, this work in. Work me. If you're not willing to put this work in. If you're not willing to be active on your social media, if if that's what you did, just go get a fucking SEPTA job. They're not gonna outwork me. None of them. They go get a, go me. get a go get a fucking job at, at, at fucking Kroger's or something, man. They're, they're not gonna outwork me. None of this them. This shit ain't gonna work for you. You gonna look up. You gonna be. You gonna be. Watch all your prom years pass you by, and you ain't got no excuse. You ain't go to jail like Mike. You yeah. ain't, you know, you you was out here, yeah. just just bullshit. Yeah. Just if you don't treat this rat shit like yeah. a regular <laughs> nine to five fucking job, you're done. Go get a fucking job. You're done. Yeah, you're, you're done. fucking done. You finish. You can 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 minuto, y'all. finish them. You're fucking mm -hmm. done. You finish. Like, if Wallow ain't a prime example of if you put in fucking work, yes. anything can happen. You gotta put that work in. Anything you gotta believe happen. it though. You gotta want that shit. You gotta you gotta you gotta breathe that shit. You gotta want it, bro. Right. No like, matter like, what. My, like my like my son, right? Mm -hmm. That nigga sold sixteen hundred dollars worth of t shirts, worth of mac and cheese. T-shirts in three days. Mm -hmm. That's a hustler. I said, "Damn, little nigga, if you ain't got me to fuck in you, yeah. I don't look, nigga, you a hustler for real, nigga." Mm -hmm. This nigga then already went back, mm -hmm. read up read on his T-shirts, and getting another play, getting another, getting another big batch of them, mm -hmm. because. He understanding he's willing to listen. This shit ain't just about no rap shit, son. Yeah. This shit is about merchandise. Yeah. This shit is about putting in the hustle. Mm -hmm. In and out the studio. 
Not just in the fucking studio because the foreign, foreign rappers in 2020, them it's niggas broke. don't make it. No, they broke. The boring niggas, the two cool niggas, ah, uh, they just take pictures mm -hmm. on their Instagram. Uh, yeah. Look, the niggas that make it is the niggas with some personality. Yeah. They be even having bullshit music, but they got personality. Personality. Uh, who the fuck is, I, I don't know one little punk fucking song, but I see him walking around in the house bigger than a fucking, gotta be 7,000. <laughs> you better know it. Like, I don't be knowing these none of these young nigga songs, but you see them and you yeah. like this nigga's getting money. Real talk. But all them niggas got personality. You better know it. My nigga Black Real Youngster talk. said, Gilly, I ain't no motherfucking rapper. I'm an entertainer. Mm-hmm. That's my nigga too. But and guess what? That's he ran nigga. the fucking bag up, nigga riding around here in Lamborghinis and all that. And he understands I, I ain't no motherfucking rapper. My nigga. I, I'm a fucking entertainer. It's a difference. Yeah. So, it's a time running, bro. You know how this shit get. Right. If you want to be you know a born rapper, gets. just go get a fucking job at Macy's, man. Yeah, real tough. That's all bro. I can tell you, man. Yo, get man. this shit up, man. Shit ain't for you, man. Yo, love, bro. We got to talk. All love, man. The motivation, man. nigga. The Yo, motivation, man. nigga. You hey. already know. All right. My motherfucking GDK, man. This shit was a hell of a night, y'all. Beautiful. Yo, I want to thank everybody that tuned in. It was love. You don't got the motivation. Go get it right now. It'll be on all platforms, but you can also go into my bio right now. Click the link. It's on SoundCloud. You can hear it, play it, download it, do what you want with it. In three weeks, the Motivation Part 2 will be on the way. Love, y'all. Want it.